welcome to tech learners in today's lesson we will talk about fibonacci series write a program to print fibonacci series fibonacci series is a series in which first element is 0 second element is 1 and remaining elements are calculated by sum of its immediate previous two elements let's see this is a series known as fibonacci series here you can see the first element is 0 second element is 1 and now the rest elements will be calculated by the sum of its previous two elements for example we need to calculate this element so this will be calculated by the sum of its immediate previous two elements so here 0 plus 1 is equal to 1 this element will be calculated by the sum of its immediate previous two elements so the sum of 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 the next element 3 will be the sum of 1 plus 2 that is 3 the next element 5 will be the sum of 2 plus 3 this is 5 next element 8 will be the sum of 3 plus 5 that is 8 and in this way we can keep calculating and printing the fibonacci series let's see the logic behind this program first of all we'll store the first element in variable a that is 0 we'll store 0 in variable a then we'll store the second element in variable b that means we'll store 1 in b and we'll print both these elements now we'll ex we'll ask the user to input number of elements in the series to be printed and we'll store that into n now we'll start a loop till n minus 2 why n minus 2 let's say the user wishes to print 10 elements or 10 numbers of the fibonacci series as we know that we have already printed two numbers first and second so we need to run the loop from 10 minus 2 that is till 8 so we will run the loop only till 8 so that is why we are taking the loop till n minus 2 inside the loop we will sum the previous two values store the sum into another variable let's say c and we'll print this third variable c now the comes swapping part we need to swap the value of the b variable into a that means one from b will get inside a so now a will have one and the new calculated value of c will be stored into b so now whatever the new value was in c will be stored back into b remember that the sequence of these two swapping is very important because we need to store the value of b first into a and then we will overwrite the value of b by c and if we will write this statement first then we will lose the value of b so make sure that the sequence of these two steps are into the same manner first we will store the value of b in a then we will store the value of c in b and the loop will continue and in this way we can print all the elements of the fibonacci series so now let's see how we can do this into the java program so this is a java program uh we need to accept the number of elements to be printed from the user for the purpose we will be using the scanner class just to use the scanner class in our program need to import java.util.scanner into our program then we'll print a message to the user please enter number of elements in the fibonacci series we'll store that number into n with the help of the next int method of the scanner class we'll take three variables initialize a with 0 first number initialize b with 1 second number and the third number c with 0 to store the sum of the previous two numbers now we'll print the first number we'll print the second number and remember i have just given a space just to separate out two numbers from each other and have just used a print method instead of println to keep all the numbers on the same line now 
we'll run a loop you can use a for while do while any loop can be used for the purpose we'll use a for loop here so we'll initialize the looping variable i with one and we'll run this loop till n minus two so remember the logic we have to run the loop till n minus 2 as we have already printed the first two elements here. Then the updation of the variable. The next is c is equal to a plus b. That means we are adding the two previous variables and storing the value into the third variable. Then we will print this third variable and then the swapping part. We will store the value of b into a. We will store the value of c into b. Let's see, uh, in the first instance, a was uh, 0 and b was 1. So in this case, here the a will be equal to 1. So here the a will be equal to 1 in the first instance. And into the uh, second step, as uh, now we can see that c was the sum of a plus b. So 0 plus 1, that is 1. So here b will be equal to 1. So now the new two new variables are a is 1 and b is 1. So this will be uh, go back here and now we will sum up 1 and 1 again and this c will have 2. Now again if we will uh, try to perform this, so this time a will be 1 and now the new value of b will be 2. So the new two elements will be 1 and 2. In this way uh, we can keep uh, summing and printing the values of the Fibonacci series till the user requires so now let's execute this program and see the output of the fibonacci series so now let me run please enter number of elements let's say i have entered 10 elements so in this way yeah, if you can see 0 1 then the sum of these two elements this is 1 <coughs> then the sum of these two elements that's 2 then 1 plus 2 that's 3 then 2 plus 3 that's 5 then 3 plus 5 that's 8 so we have 10 elements of the Fibonacci series I hope you have understood understood the program and the logic well for more such program uh, like the video subscribe the channel hit the notification bell press the bell and subscribe the channel thank you so much